Somewhere. What are you looking for, Ben? I'm looking for another spoon like this one. A big spoon? Yes, it's called a tablespoon. I'd like to play the spoons for you, Small. And it's best if you have two spoons that are exactly the same. Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world! Hello! We're just trying to find two spoons that match so that Ben can play the spoons. So a tablespoon and a soup spoon wouldn't do? No. Well, how about a tablespoon and my spoon? No, I'm afraid not, Small. It needs to be two tablespoons. Oh, hang on a minute. Ho, ho! Snap! See, Small? They're both exactly the same. Which means now... Ho, 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 ho! I can play the spoons! That was very unusual, Ben. <laughs> hey, Ben, can we play that snap game now? It's a game where you try to find things that match and then you shout, Snap! <laughs> now, what about this orange? Can we find another one to match it? Snap! Ho ho! Another orange that's exactly the same. Did you remember to shout Snap? I tell you what, Small, there's a card game called Snap 2, where you have to find matching pictures. Wowee! Well, what are we waiting for, Ben? Let's play it! Let's play it now! I'm sorry, Small, but I don't have any cards on me. Oh, that's a shame. <coughs> oh, come on, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. Better go and see who it is. I'm on my way! Woohoo! So, who's our customer today, Small? Well, we've got two customers today, Ben, and they're brothers. Hmm, two brothers. Mm. Oh, can we have another clue then, Small? They look so alike, you can't tell one from the other. <laughs> oh, I think I'm ready to guess. Are they twins? Yes, it's Bob and Bill the twins. Good guessing, Ben. Now, what would twins like to tickle their taste buds? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. When Bob and Bill were babies, I really couldn't tell them apart. Baby Bob or Baby Bill? Baby Bill or Baby Bob? <laughs> which baby was which? Who was who? I couldn't tell. Can you? In the end, everyone just called them the twins. As they got older, of course, they still looked the same, but they really wanted to do different things. Bob liked his toy train. Bill liked his toy plane. On the seesaw, Bill always wanted to be up and Bob always wanted to be down, so there was no seesawing at all. One summer's day, they saw that there was a children's talent show. They wanted to enter, but couldn't decide what to do. You may want to be different, Bob and Bill, I said, but sometimes it can be quite useful to be the same. I taught Bob and Bill a special magic trick. At the talent contest, there were lots of children doing lots of different things. When it was Bill and Bob's turn, only Bob came on stage. I am Bob the Fantastic, said Bob, and today I will astound you with my magic. Watch carefully, I'm going to disappear and reappear in the audience. With that, Bob disappeared behind the curtain and a second later, guess what? He appeared right in the middle of the audience. Everyone was astonished. How did Bob get from the stage to the audience in only a split second? 
Of course, we knew the secret to the trick. Bill was in the audience all the time. He stood up just as Bob hid behind the stage curtain. <laughs> the twins laughed and laughed. It's good to be different, but it's also fun being the same. They said, Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Well, it sounds like the audience loved Bill and Bob's trick, Small. You're amazing. But we still don't know what to cook for them. Ooh! <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Oh, hey! This looks like the perfect recipe for twins! Twin bean salad. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need a can of cannellini beans. Oh, here we go. Got them small. Tuna fish. Tuna fish in the cupboard as well. Got it. Kidney beans. Kidney beans all in here. Yep. Got the kidney beans. Olive oil. Olive oil. Got that small. Mustard. Nice and tasty. Got it. Lemon. Oh, in the fruit bowl. Lemon. Got the lovely yellow lemon, yep. Carrot. Carrot, nice and orange, got it. Red onion. Red onion, very colourful, yep. Egg. Eggs, there they are. And mung bean sprouts. Oh, right. Here we are, little cook. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we haven't got any mung bean sprouts. Oh, dear. But I'll tell you what, why don't you whiz off and get some little cook and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> go, Small, go, Small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. This is the right place. These beans are called mung beans. Bradley is going to grow some mung beans into bean sprouts. First of all, they have to be left to soak for a little while in water. Now the water can be drained away. The beans are put into a container with some holes made in the lid. Then, they're put into a dark cupboard so that the beans can grow. Now the beans have to be left in the dark for four days. Wow! The beans have sprouted into bean sprouts. That's really clever. Bean sprouts can be used in lots of recipes, but you can also have them as a snack. Tasty! Why don't you try growing bean sprouts? Bye! I'm just looking at my buttons. They match. They're all orange. And they're the same shape and the same size. Do you have matching buttons on any of your clothes? Way! I'm back! And I found out all about mung beans. And guess what? They grow really, really quickly. Oh, <laughs> do they? Yes. And here's some of them. Whoa! Hey, well done, Small. Now let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. 
all clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to twin bean salad? You do. There were cannellini beans. 175 grams, drained and rinsed. Tuna fish. 200 grams, drained. Kidney beans. 130 grams, drained and rinsed. Olive oil. Two tablespoons. Mustard. A quarter of a teaspoon. Lemon. The juice of one. Carrot. One medium sized, grated. Red onion. A quarter, finely chopped. Eggs. One. And mung bean sprouts. 100 grams. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, this is a recipe for two people. The first thing we need to do is boil an egg in a pan of water for about 10 minutes. And this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job. And the hob is hot, hot, hot. Hey, Small, I noticed earlier that my buttons matched. Do yours? Ooh. Well, would you look at that? My lemon buttons are exactly the same size, colour and shape. <laughs> I'm going to go and see if I can find any other things that match. Good idea, Small. Now, whilst that egg is boiling, we're going to make the cannellini bean salad. So, put the beans into a bowl, like this, and mix in the tuna and the chopped onion. Give it a bit of a mix, like this. And once we've done that, we're going to put it onto a plate evenly, like this. Hey! Those plates match, don't they? Did you notice? Make a round shape with the salad on each plate. And then, take a few kidney beans and arrange them on the circle as ears. Like that. I wonder if I can find anything else that matches. <laughs> and then we can do a mouth for one. A mouth for two. There we go. They need noses too. That's true. One kidney bean nose. And... Another kidney bean nose. Hey, look! I found some snaps. That's my word for things that match. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, let's see. Those cups are both white with the same coloured spots. And these socks are the same size with the same coloured stripes. Snaps! The egg's ready now, so we'll turn off the heat. And I'll put the egg into a bowl of cold water until it's cool enough to handle. The egg is ready now, so we better get cracking. Hey, 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 do you get it? Cracking! Hoo -hoo. And now I can peel off the shell. Now I've cut the egg into four equal slices, like this. And I'm going to put two slices of the egg onto our bean face to look like eyes. There we go. Another two there. And I'm also going to put a kidney bean on top of each eye as pupils. That looks great, Ben! But what about hair? Are they going to have any hair? <laughs> oh, yes, Maul! Now we're going to make the bean sprout salad, and that will be the hair. So, in another bowl, put the carrots and the rinsed mung bean sprouts and mix it all up. There we go. We can start to put it all around the head. Like this. Looks just like hair. <laughs> and the other one. Now we have to try and make them look exactly the same because remember, they're twins. There we go. 
Snap! They match. They're a pair. Hey, you're right, Small. Hey. Now, all we need to do is make the dressing. So, I'm going to pour the oil, the lemon juice, and then scoop the mustard into this jug. There we go. And then whisk it all up with a fork. Ooh, I like this bit. Round and round. All we need to do is pour it all over our twin bean salads. Like this. Yummy! Quick, Ben, let's get the twin salads to the twin boys, Bill and Bob. OK, little cook, twin bean salads coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here come the plates. Hey, hey! And it looks like Bill and Bob enjoyed their twin bean salad. Look, Small, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, our twin bean salad was double delicious. Woohoo! To say thank you, we thought you might like these snap cards. Have snappy fun from Bill and Bob. Well, come on, Ben, let's play. OK, then. I'll deal. One for you and one for me. 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 Come on, Small, let's go. Woohoo! Orange. <laughs> Frying pan. Oh, they don't match. Lemon! Lemon! Hey! Snap! Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> this is fun! Hey, hey! Well done, Small. You get to keep those cards now. Can we play again? Oh, yes. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for every.